Hey guys and welcome to Loose Plays the Sandman with my lovely, lovely guest, Digi. Hi! <laughs> now this is a, uh, I we have never heard of the Sandman before, but when I was looking at, you know, getting the Crypt Man to play, this, this one popped up and was available, so I said, hmm, why not? It's apparently part of the series with the Crypt Man. And of course, it's it's available at the same place where you get the Crooked Man. So I'm surprised you di you're not playing the Crooked Man first. Yeah, I am too. But I've never seen the Sandman before, and I've seen the Crooked Man, and so is pretty much a lot of people by now. True. So why not do something I have never done that I've never seen any el any other person do? So this is completely blind. This is gonna be fun. And as Digi pointed out pre-recording, these look like two boobs. And you cannot unsee it. I share that with you, lovely viewers. Okay. They're totally boobs. Oh my god, they're blinking. Ew. Ugh. Blinking <laughs> boobs. <laughs> okay. This is a horror-style exploration game. While nothing too extreme, be mindful that it does contain some shocking imagery. Edition, please obey the following rules of use. Do not reuse any materials. Do not redistribute. Do not use the game to make monetized videos, which I'm not doing. I'm not even doing live streaming. Um, this is going. This is video, so... Eh. Not that I ever do live streaming stuff. People should. People definitely should. Because this is the request from the game maker. Very true. Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. Hee <laughs> hee. Just kidding. Well, you're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. Yes, tell the person a scary story right before they're going to bed. Brilliant idea. Best idea ever. The terrifying story of the Sandman. You know, all I can think about when I hear Sandman is, Mr. Sandman. I don't know that song. Bring me a sign. Something like that. I have I no idea. <laughs> I know the song you're refer referring to. But every time I hear Sandman, it's like, Rise of the Guardians. That too. Sandy is adorable. Morning already, says Sophie. Oh, I can move. Yay! Go put on some clothes. I am dressed. Yay! I'm also a redhead. Oh, it's a redhead. <laughs> teddy bear, teddy bear. Come here, teddy bear. Aww. Nice and fluffy. He's all foie foie. Sorry, I'm still thinking clear. I still need to edit those videos. You need to. Wait, was there other stuff in the closet, I wonder? Eh, clothes and bags and things. Aw, oh, wait. I was gonna say, Mom, no. Teen pop star. Why would you have a photo of teen- Oh, wait, that's typical teenage girls, apparently. Apparently. A note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I left him to take care of yourself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Love, Papa. Man, you're a shitty dad. And Sophie knows it. Rather old picture taken on a vacation. Burnt bottom. Okay. Toast! Someone doesn't know how to cook. Well... <laughs> wow, that's... <laughs> that's very forgetful. It's been there since yesterday? Ew! Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. Uh, apparently. I mean, why don't, why don't you try toasting it now? Come on, toast it. You can eat it still. You dummy. That's a waste of food. It is. I mean, especially since you've got such a shitty dad, you need to, you know, save your 
food. Shoe shelf. Shoe shelf. I want those boots. I like leather boots. They're awesome. What is this thing? What is this thing? Oh, I'll leave that way. Got it. Oh, random. Oh, that's freaking random. Reagan says, hey, Sophie. <laughs> Reagan. <laughs> you got a painter at your house? Dots. Because, man, that hair. How do you get that red without a paint spill? Oh, come on. Hey. Don't tease the redhead. That's me. What about that pink girl in the back? Go tease her. Yeah, she's the one who has the unnatural hair. Oh, well, technically. She's the, that animu she's the animu girl. <laughs> See, the red hair. Actually, no, I can't say that it's natural because that bright red isn't that natural. In RPG style, it is. Yeah, technically, yes. Follower one. Now, hold on, Reagan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor. Where are you going with this? Red Hots? Come on, be original. And mistook the ketchup for shampoo. Really? Ket- Th th these girls must be middle school because their their insults are lame. They really are. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Yeah, she she's agreeing that they're lame. <laughs> what the hell is on her head? She's a sister. No, no, no. The, uh, okay, the 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 little little gray thing looks like a little question, you know, a little speaking box thing on her face. I guess it's just because it's like it, it's got like a like a little rectangle with the with a little triangle at the bottom. <laughs> I'm I weird. Think that's supposed to be her hair. So I think she's supposed to be an old lady. Maybe. Miss Grundler, are you here? That is a sucky ass name. I feel so sorry for Sophie. No wonder she gets teased. I mean, Wait, what's her last name? Grundler. Ooh, ouch. So, Grundler with that red of hair. Ow! Sister says, I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Ooh, ee. Run the other way! Oh man, don't piss off sisters. I know this from school. <laughs> so does my stepdad. He went to a Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie screams, ah! Oh, she got tripped. Oh, those bitches! What are you doing, Clouds? Hurry up! You're so slow! Seriously! You're so stupid, Reagan! Seriously! How about I just put your hair in the air conditioner or something? <laughs> How about we cut her with her own insults? Oh wait, they're dull and lame, so they wouldn't cut at all! But they would hurt when they did. <laughs> Considering she's a bully, she probably has such tender, tender feelings and must, you know, hurt others to... Blah blah blah. I can't. I can't psychoanalyze so much right now. Anne says, "Sophie, um, about Reagan. Try not to let it get to you." Thoughts. They're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I guess that's your one friend. Well, considering Anne did not stand up to stand up for her in class. She is probably the kind of person who will only talk with Sophie outside of class where other people can't see. So it's not really much of a friend. Ah, uh, that's true. I wonder why Reagan teases you so much. She's jealous of that red hair. Because the red hair is too fabulous. Yes, exactly. The red hair, super fabulous. Yes. Wish, ha hair flip, hair flip. <laughs> Sophie says, must be hard just being her. I'm only an outlet for her stress. See, Sophie, Sophie gets it. Anne says, um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? No, you're not, Anne. You don't even stand up for her in class. You're not on her side. And I think you're Sophie realizes that. <laughs> I think Sophie realizes this. How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Eww, oh, stalker. she called you out. <laughs> And says, well, we're friends. I, I don't really have any friends but you. Huh. So it's like a relational ostracization thingy. 
I really should not psychoanalyze these games because my brain will hurt. Says the psychology major. You should like do a paper on these games. <laughs> there, there was actually a a school I was thinking of applying to that where, where they did graduate studies on cartoons. Ooh, nice. And and the portrayal of female characters in the Pokemon series. <laughs> Someone is just really geeked out enough and, and are getting, you know, they're getting schooling for it. Sophie says, well, I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. I'm going to try doing voices. Just type in when you want me to do one. <laughs> how, how about you, you be the sister? Oh, okay. Can you read Come that? In. Okay. <laughs> My voice acting is lame. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Grendler. Please, take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Wait, I should do a deep voice for Sophie. Miss Grendler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. <laughs> You've always been. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've always been a calm, model student. Why? Why did she have to call Sophie out to to tell her this? I don't know. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Why? Why tell the? Okay. Why? It's like, exactly. It's like if she's doing good. Why? Uh, Sophie says. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> by the way, Miss Grun, <laughs> for some reason I thought it said Sophie, so that's why it was quiet. Ah, uh, it's, it's the S by thing. By the way, Miss Grendler, have you saw, have you resolved what we just dis discussed before? <laughs> <laughs> did I we did talk? Me. My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good. I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about 10 days. Holy shit, woman. Actually, I actually was <clears throat> having a lot of problems sleeping for about that long <laughs> at the beginning of the semester. Well, same here. That's why I have sleeping pills. Yeah, I wish I had sleeping pills. Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Oh my. Oh, oh my. What? Sorry, I had to do George Takei there oh for a my. moment. <laughs> Have you gone to the hospital? No. My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him. And it would cost money. God damn money. Mm, I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems it's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. <laughs> Can re never miss a day. Getting religious all up in here. <laughs> Perhaps you should try it. It may help. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Sophie wants to call her on her bullshit, but she's not gonna. <laughs> do you want to read this, or do you want me to? <laughs> Why is the light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter soul, to those who long for death that does not come? <laughs> Who 
search for... <laughs> okay, I can do this. I can do this. You're a professional <laughs> LP -er. more than for who search for it more than for hidden treasure. Who are filled with the gladness and rejoice rejoice? Rejoice. Oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. For sigh has become my daily food. My groans pour out like water. <laughs> What I feared has come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. I'm trying to do this really dramatic. I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, only turmoil. I mean, but only turmoil. <laughs> Job was a man honest and adoring justice. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, wait, I think it's Job. It's pronounced Job, right? Oh! Book, book of Job? I went to a Catholic school. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> and Job I, was a man honest and adoring justice. And I'm I'm the one who who's who's you know non-religious and doesn't know the books, but I know Job. I'm agnostic. I I don't really care. <laughs> well, I say non-rel. Eh, I say non-religious, but I believe more in the 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 Buddhist stuff, which isn't really a religion. Unless you want to go, yeah, re Buddhism isn't really religion so much. Anyway. But as we all know, that does not ensure the disaster will not befall us. Yes? Sorry for loose derpage. Through calamity, he saw the truth. The truth that not everything can go swimmingly. What? Did horror write this? Wait, what? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Bringing in some free references here. Though you may be too young to, exper to have such experience. Haru isn't so young. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Trust in the ways of the Lord and ensure, endure your hardship, just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering. That is what gives us greater merit. So ends my sermon. Praise Jesus! We don't we don't mean mean to, to to make fun of Catholics, but this game is kind of you, you have to admit okay. that there are stereotypes. Okay, I, I just wanna admit I'm I'm not trying to make fun of Catholic. I do it all the time at, at my school. Which is a Catholic I'm school. Catholic people and they laugh at me. Well because they admit that there's like the, these stereotypes. Yes. And and, and some stereotypes can be wait what I want to hear a Catholic make a Satan joke. I I make them a lot and they laugh at me because of it because I'm apparently funnier than I think. <laughs> <laughs> now taking my God belief and unbelief class last semester, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> lots of lots of jokes were made. Ah, black screen. Why black screen? I don't even see the black oh, there we go. I still see this. So it ends my sermon. Sophie says, I should shower and go to bed. Where, oh, where's it, the- it changed? Wait, the scene changed? I'm still yeah. stuck in the church. Oh god! Oh, here's the bathroom. <laughs> I'm still stuck in church. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Skype. Woohoo, CG! Oh, I want to see the CG! No, I'm serious, it's frozen. <laughs> Be right back, guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs>